Hi guys, here's JNM with a video on how to import a complete low poly Blender scene into Godot engine. This is my scene in Blender 2.79. All the models here are UV unwrapped and low poly and they share the same texture. As render engine I use Blender Cycles and now let's have a look on how this will come out in the rendered preview. Ok, now I will export this as a collator file. I use the better collator add-on which is an enhanced collator exporter that I use to export the whole scene. I added the download link to the add-on to the description of this video. In the exporter you have a lot of options. I'm going to export the mesh, the lamps, the empties and the camera. So now it is exported and I open the Godot engine. And then I create a new project and call this nature scene for example. After that I just drag in the exported file into the resources. And as you can see also the material for the models is imported. After that I drag the texture for the models into the resources as well. Ok, now let's open the scene, just double click it and choose new inherited, because then we could also make changes to this scene. I think I will bring the camera a bit closer. Then with the camera selected you can press the preview button and here's the preview, the material is already applied to the models. And what I'm going to do now is I will edit this material, I will assign the texture and adjust some settings like roughness or metallic. So let's first drag in the texture here to the albedo slot and I set the color to white. Then I set the metallic to zero. And after that the roughness to one to get this nice low poly look and feel. Ok, already quite nice, I think we are done with the material and now I'm going to add a world environment. I use this to define again a procedural sky and some post-processing effects. Ok, this is just the default sky. And then I set the tone mapping to filmic, this will make the colors really pop. I also enable screen space ambient occlusion. And a light glow effect. Ok, the next thing that I will add is a global illumination probe. This GI probe allows the engine to create a more realistic lighting in an area that we will define with this green box here. You can size it and move the faces as you like. And I will cover all the models with this cube and then I press bake GI probe. Now I select the camera and press the preview button. Great, but we don't see any shadows, so let's select the sunlight. Open the shadows area and enable it. And that looks pretty nice, so I call this done. I uploaded the whole project to my Patreon account, you can get it from there for free and use it as you like. The link can be found in the description below. So guys, I really hope you liked the video and you find it useful. And if you like this channel, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss a future tutorial. 
Thanks a lot guys for watching this and thanks for your support and see you soon here on JNM.